Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, really happy that you've decided to join us today for today's mm -hmm. webinar. Um, if you want to introduce yourself, um, please tell us, are you creative? And is there a new creative hobby that you'd like to try? Mm -hmm. um, so you can interpret creative in whichever way you want. Um, something that is where you create something or is artistic, maybe. Yeah. Um, shall we start? Hal, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, hello, my name is Hal. I'm from London in the UK or near to London in the suburbs around the edge of the city. And uh, I live in Bologna and uh, I have been in Bologna for six months now and I work at Myers, obviously, um, with Emily. Yes, and my name is Emily. <laughs> um, I work at Myers with Hal in Bologna. I'm from Leicester, which is in the East Midlands of the UK and it's famous only really for the football. Um, we had yeah. uh, the football club which won um, the Premier League unexpectedly a few years yeah. ago. Um, so yeah, you may have heard of it if you're interested in football, but probably not. not know that, which means that it was huge because yeah. I don't follow football at all, surprise. And yeah, no, me neither, I honestly. Re <laughs> I remember that, yeah, it was yeah. huge. Um, the miracle team with the coach Claudio Ranieri. <laughs> wow! But you you weren't in Leicester when that happened. No, no. I just moved yeah. to Italy, so I oh. just missed it. Yeah, um, I can imagine yeah. it was a huge atmosphere to yeah. be in for a few I think days. It was a big party. <laughs> mm. um, how? What about you? Are you a creative person? And um, is there a hobby that you'd like to try? That's I think I am probably creative, but it doesn't, yeah, no, I am. Um, I like writing, so that's a creative thing. Yeah. But I'm not very good, because when I think creative, this is just my personal interpretation, I often think of like using your hands in like a tactile yeah. way. Making I don't know. Things. Yeah, and on that side of things, I'm not so good, mm. I'm not so skilled. So I would like to try, Mm. painting because when I was a little when I was a kid I used to do loads of it loads of mm. really bad painting yeah <laughs> but it's something they encourage you to do yeah as a kid. yeah I loved it I used to love it so um I've actually found a place in Bologna that has classes quite cheap mm. actually and um I know someone who recommended it so the first thing I want to do when this is over is go to a studio and try some mm. fancy painting. What yeah. type of painting? Oil painting, I think. Oil painting, wow. Yeah, like yeah. the real, because there's something about that that seems... Yeah. Serious. Yeah, when you're a kid, you like mess around with crayons and watercolor. Actually, watercolor yeah. is fun, but it's really difficult, I find. Yeah, but it oil depends on like the level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but oil painting is, yeah, the real, the real deal, as we say, so. Yeah. You have to be quite skilled, I think, um, yeah. to know the technique, different brush strokes. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get there. Yeah. Um, you you have to hold me to this. You can, yeah, in a few I'll months' time, you. yeah, when I've forgotten, you can say, how's the oil painting going? I remember, and, I, and I'll go, ah, yeah, exactly. And I'll go, ah, oh, yeah, you're right. I need to go do it. Thank you. Um, it's easy, I think, with, when we're busy with life um, to put these off. Right. Um, so to put off kind of means to postpone. Right. Yeah, um, to put off doing something. Don't put off today. No, wait. Don't put off. What's the expression? Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. Or don't put off to tomorrow what you should do today. What you can do, yeah. do today, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, it's easy to postpone or to put things off. But I'll yeah. hold you to it. I'll ask you. Thank you. Thank you. How um, about you? Uh, my... I don't know if I'm very creative. I think I'm creative, maybe similar to you in my ideas. I remember mm -hmm. when I was younger, I had great ideas for paintings, for art, really grand ideas. Yeah, but yeah. The, the result was maybe not as good as the idea in my head. Sure, okay. Um, yeah. I remember my mom telling me that um, I had a friend when we were very small and we used to paint together. Um, and my painting was always very extravagant, but 
but badly executed. <laughs> okay. Hers was very okay. simple, but were executed That's well. Well done. Okay. Because yeah. you think you were reaching for a big conceptual idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was too complicated um, for me to to do it well. Um, I love that. Sonny, hi. Hey. Yes, I think again. I'm creative. I want to learn to draw. Okay, yeah. similar to you. Now. Me too. Sonny, can you tell us why? Yeah, why? Yeah, sculpture. That would be that would be really really fun. I have quite a few friends, not loads, but some friends who are into pottery, mm. and they're always they they love it. They they get so much joy out of it. Um, yeah. It's a really beautiful thing. Pottery, yeah, is also an interesting um, hobby to make yeah. um, ceramics. Yeah, um, I remember I ending have... as a child. It was very difficult. <laughs> Yeah, really, really difficult. I have lots of um, sort of, because uh, my friends, when they make something and it goes a bit wrong, so they don't want to keep it, I'm usually like, yeah, yeah, I'll have it. Because um, anything can be an ashtray. So I just have lots of yeah. strange sort of cups, but they're, they've gone a bit wrong. But they're Abstract. So yeah, abstract, abstract pottery. Exactly. Nice. Right. I don't know. I want to put my emotions into art. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the best place to put them. Yeah, Maybe to that's express quite true, yourself. <laughs> yeah. uh, one of the best places. <laughs> um, I think one of the things I would like to learn to be creative is cake decorating. Ooh. Um, yeah. I'm always really jealous of people when they come to like a dinner party and they bring an amazing cake decorated right. well. Like, right. Wow. Well, I but couldn't. You... I couldn't that. You bake? <laughs> um, you bake? Not very well. I, okay. First of all, I need to improve the baking. <laughs> yeah, and then all of those little touches that make it look mm. incredible. Yeah. yeah. I have a couple of friends who are very good at baking and decorating. And mm. um, I would like to do that to maybe shock people one day, surprise people. <laughs> <laughs> thing I've made. <laughs> um, okay, so we have Sole. Hi, Sole. We also have one more person watching. If you want to introduce yourself and tell us, are you creative? And is there a new creative hobby that you'd like to try? Mm. Yeah. yeah. How do you think it's important to be creative? I think it's important to be given the opportunity to be creative because I was about to say that I, you know, I, oh, there are some people who maybe just aren't creative. Yeah, but I think most people are if they have had, if they've had when they were children, especially an opportunity to explore that part of themselves. Yeah, maybe like, we I, lose yeah. Um, the confidence. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, or we start, yeah, and we start thinking about whether we're really good at it or not. And that's yeah. always the shame. It's a bit of a cliche, but I do believe that, I think. Definitely. I think sometimes the joy is in doing it. Yes, exactly. Um, as far as when we're older, we tend to focus on the, the product. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. The process. Okay, guys, let's have a look at today's focus. Again, if you're joining us, please introduce yourself and tell us, are you creative? And is there a new creative hobby you would like to try? Okay, so today is a creative topic. The arts. Um, how do you want to read for us? The thing we have talking about different arts and vocabulary for describing art. Perfect. Mm. Big question. Big question. What is art? Um, Sole or anyone else, can you give us a definition of art? Mm. Imagine we're opening the dictionary. What could we see? as a definition of art. And it might be quite personal, no, because it's, there would be many definitions. I know we will see different definitions in a minute because, because there's not, um, it's a hard word to define, mm. I think. Definitely, I think there are quite wide definitions and there are also mm -hmm. quite narrow definitions depending Great. on how we're gonna use the word. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we have another person joining us. Hi. Hello, hello. Like sometimes, do you do this? Sometimes in conversation, 
I will describe, I'll be like, oh, that's art. Like just mm -hmm. to describe something, I don't know, that someone's yeah. done really well or some yeah. someone's, yeah. or someone dressed really well, or I don't know, something like that. And you can use, you can say that it is art in a way that's kind of hyperbolic, but you mean mm -hmm. it's perfect. It's really artistic, yeah. it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's perfect, yeah. it couldn't be better. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Lucia, All welcome right. Lucia. Art hey, Lucia. is the expression of beauty. Cool. Good. Um, really good saying. Um, I think maybe it's connected to what you were saying, how that it's something perfect. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Beauty. We don't say the beauty. We just say beauty. Um, like nature. Yeah, because it's just a big abstract thing here. So not the, just beauty. Uh, art is the expression of beauty. This year, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> um, just be careful. In English, we usually say, sorry, I'm late. Not sorry for the delay. Sorry, I'm late. But it's no problem. We're very happy you're joining us. Yeah, good to see you. Um, we also have Sole. Sole, do you have any definitions of art? Mm. I like um, Lucia's definition. Mm. Um, but then the maybe only... we could move on to what is beauty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because uh, another nice expression would be beauty is in the eye of the beholder mm -hmm. so then it becomes difficult and i have definitely seen some art in my time that is not beautiful but mm -hmm. is definitely art so this yeah this is an expression in english the, mm -hmm. the beholder is an old-fashioned word for the person who's seeing something so the idea is that something isn't beautiful because it is just beautiful, but it's beautiful because you think that it looks beautiful. So yeah. it's a subjective thing, I guess. Definitely. So maybe everyone has a different opinion of what is beautiful. Um, yes, I, I guess in general in art, we tend to aim for something aesthetic, aesthetic beauty, mm -hmm. aesthetic mm -hmm. quality. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. even if it, yeah, yeah. Even if <laughs> I was going to say, even if it change, even if it challenges the idea of what beauty is, it's still usually aiming for that. I think a lot yeah. of the time, yeah. Definitely. Okay, let's have a look at some definitions. Um, again, you guys can continue to tell us what you think, artists. Um, Hal, do you want to read the first? Sure one? thing. So, definition number one: the quality, production, expression, or realm according to aesthetic principles of what is beautiful, appealing, or of more than ordinary significance. Wow, very long sentence. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess this is most similar to what um, Lucia was saying. Right. Uh, right. appealing or significant. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe not necessarily beautiful, but it's something not ordinary. Right. And realm here, should we just mention that? I yeah. think the rest is okay. Hmm. But they're saying realm is a bit strange here. But I mean, it kind of means like an area, right? Um, yeah. It's a very poetic way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, field or an area. Right. Um, okay, let's have a look at Soli. Oh, art oh, is your deep emotion that comes out. We can think of artists as putting some emotions like angry, sad, and the way they want to change society. Nice. Yeah, really good. Cool. Um, again, similar to beauty, society, we don't need the change society. Um, if we use the, we need to talk about a specific society. Right. The society in Italy, for example. Um, yeah, really good. That's a very good definition. Um, your deep emotion. Good. Okay, let's have a look at, oh, at number two. The class of objects subject to aesthetic criteria, works of art collectively, as paintings, sculptures, or drawings, a museum of art, an art collection. See fine art and commercial art. Okay. Hmm. 
So I guess this is the more concrete um, right. art objects. Right. If it's in a gallery and it has a fancy frame around it, then it's <laughs> probably art. Yeah, somebody has decided. <laughs> somebody has decided that this is art. Um, okay, Lucia All agrees right. with Sole's definition. Good. Yeah. Maybe we should ask them, what is fine art? So here we have, see, fine art or commercial art? What is fine art? Um, what is commercial art, Hal? Do you have any ideas? I don't have any ideas. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a strange way of expressing it. <laughs> uh, as in art that can be, that is sold. Yeah, like maybe I guess it's for to sell rather than to be the best in the be world. The, right, I see. Okay, so it's created with a uh, market in mind that it's going to be yeah. sold on. Okay. I think, yeah, maybe yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it could be mass produced. Sure, okay. Okay, yeah. Um, um, yeah, again, it's not a, a term we use a lot, but I'm guessing from the the context it's some kind of mass produced art to sell right. to lots of people right i guess the confusing thing is that a lot of art nowadays is sold even if it wasn't made to be sold mm -hmm. right so yeah it becomes Original. commercialized yeah, um, yeah. Yes, it's become commercialized. Fine art, good art. Yes. A little bit more, maybe. <laughs> uh, maybe Lucia knows what fine art is. Uh, for the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, how would you describe fine art, Hal? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to Google it. <laughs> it, it makes, yeah, I mean, is it attached to the idea of kind of like what Sole was saying, like art for the sake of art, that's art that's not immediately being sold? Or is it just yeah. to do with, it makes me think of yeah. training, like you train to be a fine artist. Mm. Uh, so... Yeah. I think you're right. It says here an activity requiring great skill or accomplishment. Okay. Um, primarily or solely appreciated for the aesthetic or intellectual content. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Lucia. So in some ways, it's it's kind of like the opposite of commercial. If we um, say commercial art, that does make me think of, like you said, mass-produced works that are going to be sold on a market. Whereas fine art makes me think of, you know, a gallery with priceless, as we say, priceless paintings. You know, they are not yeah. for sale. They are, they are beyond value. Um, yeah. Definitely. Um, like I think if you go to the Uffizi Gallery, for example, in Florence, you will find fine art, not commercial art. <laughs> yeah, maybe like a Ooh, logo. Yeah. Yeah, like branding and yeah, yeah, yeah. I think generally uh, when you, it's mass produced really. Um, so it's produced for many people and the aim is to sell it to many people. Um, I think in Italian fine art, maybe the translation is beautiful art. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, if you study fine arts, you study. You go and do, you study beautiful art, nice. <laughs> <laughs> sounds better. Um, sounds, sounds perfect. Well, that's, fine art is a bit vague. <laughs> um, do you want to read the next one now? A little bit shorter. Yes. A field, genre, or category of art. Dance is an art. Okay. Yeah, so maybe not necessarily pictures or drawings. Um, I guess in English you would say performing. Mm -hmm. performing, arts. performing arts exactly or dance yeah. singing things like that right mm. okay yeah that makes sense yeah 
music for disco, radio bar, yeah, for general people, general consumption. Yes. Okay, the fine arts collectively, often excluding architecture, art and architecture. Hmm. So, yes, maybe some kind of architecture could be included, but not necessarily. Um, depends on maybe the definition of the person is using. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe we could have an interesting discussion. Is architecture a form of art? Um, Number five, should I read? Any field using the skills or techniques of art, advertising art, industrial art. Mm. Okay. So I so guess this is wide not definition. With, exactly, nothing to do with beauty, but just the the ability to create it. No, if you if you're using an artistic technique, then you're making art. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we could even maybe say the art of teaching. Yeah, the art. Exactly, we can. Yeah, the art of teaching. Yeah, or well, the art of baking. The art of baking. Sorry, the art <laughs> within art. Okay, you have a branch of learning or university study, especially one of the fine arts or humanities, such as music, philosophy, or literature. Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, yeah, these are maybe a slightly wider definition, philosophy, literature. Right. Interesting. In, um, in the UK, for example, we have like the universities, the faculties are divided, right, between the arts and the sciences. Yeah. So, um, in most countries, it's, it works like that. <clears throat> yeah. So it's kind of seen as the opposite of the sciences, scientific subjects. Okay. Let's have a little discussion about art. Um, so, question number one Do you prefer visual or performing arts? Mm. Um, so, as we were mentioned before, performing arts is things like dance or singing, drama. Uh, the ability to create something totally new. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, That's really nice. Materials for architecture, yeah. Innovation. Right, innovation. Ooh, I love that poem. <laughs> Do you know the a good poem? poem. The art of losing isn't hard to master. That's how it starts. I can't remember how oh. it goes from there. The art is of losing. Is it a positive poem? Or a um yes yeah it's about it's about coping with loss okay, eventually okay. yeah it's really nice, beautiful nice. I'm i would recommend it sorry that's oh i love that poem thank you for, for putting that poem in my head today um wow i'm gonna, gonna, gonna google it later yeah google it have it this evening perfect so lucia and sole do you prefer visual or performing arts hmm. um how what about you I, it depends on my mood. I do really, really love going to art galleries, especially for contemporary shows. Um, but I think in general, I, I, I probably spend more time with and I prefer performing arts. Although one thing that always, I don't know about you, but I am very intimidated by dance. <laughs> <laughs> Very. I have um, a friend in New York who's really, you know, she's she's a dancer and, you know, she's obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, whenever I go and see a dance show, which isn't very often, I feel intimidated. I feel like I don't, I don't know how to describe it or. Okay, you don't know how it. to appreciate it. Yeah, so. I feel like I'm doing it wrong, you know, like, like that feeling yeah, that lots yeah. of people have with certain types of art. Like I know, for example, my dad doesn't really like visual art and he probably feels it's not for him it's not his cup of tea and yeah. i feel that about dance i don't know why yeah i think <laughs> it depends yeah. like a few years ago my husband bought me tickets to see the ninth symphony okay. of um beethoven interpreted okay. in dance wow <laughs> um it was a really interesting experience but like you i was kind of i felt very um unprepared yeah i felt I very <laughs> stupid in the sense that I didn't know um, 
I don't didn't feel like I had anything to really say about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So mm. I have that with dance as well. It feels like I don't have a way in, as we yeah. say. Um, so it yeah. depends. Okay, so they, a hard question. I like painting, sculpture and poems, but I like songs and acting too. Mm. It's, um, yeah, it is a hard question. Uh, Lucia, I think performing arts, I prefer visual when it's in 3D, like an art installation, perfect. Perfect, Good yeah. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even like performance, performance art, I quite like, which would be, I guess, somewhere in between. Like at the museum here in Bologna at the moment, there's a piece on where there are actors performing. Well, there was not at the moment, where there are yeah. actors performing a little scene on a loop, and it's a kind mm. of performance art. Yeah. Yeah. So performance art, like how that is somewhere in the middle, um, mm. is visual, but maybe you have an aspect of performance too. Um, I think I would agree with you and with Lucia. I think I prefer um, generally performing arts. Okay. Um, yeah, I think in a gallery sometimes, like I find it very interesting, but maybe especially without a guide, mm. similar to the dance, I feel a little bit lost. Yeah. Um, a little bit like I don't know enough really to appreciate yeah. everything. <laughs> Yeah, especially if it's if it's a really really big gallery. Mm. Um, sometimes it can be overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. good word too. Overwhelming. Yeah, overwhelming. I don't know how to process all of this information. Yeah. How can you read number two for us? Yeah. Do you have a favorite time period of art? Is there any period you can't stand? <laughs> okay. Mm. So I think the names of the periods are fairly similar to the Italian. So maybe right. we can, oh, okay. Perfect. <clears throat> surrealism and Baroque. Nice. Okay, Baroque is slightly different spelling, is more the French Baroque. Okay. okay. Yeah. How do you want to? Yeah, I can try performance art. So usually it is like an let's say like an installation that is there is a space where something happens and it usually involves a person so a body like either one person the artist or more people and usually they are doing something in a space this is very vague because performance art is sometimes quite strange so there's one person or a group of people doing something with their bodies in a space and it is a performance of some kind and yeah i mean it is often quite like similar to dance maybe or theater mm. but it's usually in the context of the art world um yeah it's not usually way. a story or like no a exactly it's more kind of event um yeah an event mm. yeah so i, I think like it, yeah. maybe i don't know if you know the artist tracy emin Yes. Um, she did a lot of performance art, I think, when she she was present. Um, right. In exactly. In artwork. Or maybe. The, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, the, one, okay. the one I was thinking of is um, Marina Abramovich. She's mm. quite famous as well, a performance artist. She she did she's just she's done hundreds of performances. But maybe the most famous one is when she stood with um, her, I think at that point, ex-partner in a doorway facing each other naked and the audience had to go between them. Mm, awkward. Very awkward, to say the least. Uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable, <laughs> exactly. Uh, awkward is when you feel really uncomfortable. Yeah. Lucia's, yeah, I really like it as well. I love performance art. Mm, it's really interesting. It's more dynamic yeah. maybe then. Visual arts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lucia, can you tell us about any time periods that you like? Um, so they were saying, I don't like realism. Why? Why not? <laughs> what about you, at Hal? What type of um, period? I like um, 
I like kind of mid 20th century stuff. Mm. Like, you know, I like Picasso and um, Leger, Ferdinand Leger, and yeah, stuff from the 1930s, mid 20th century, 30s, 40s, 50s. Mm. And then I get also, if I, I really like, I, it's kind of, I guess, like late medieval, like 12th, 13th century, maybe even a bit earlier kind of, um, wow. you know, when you find, I don't, I don't know any of the artists, but in, yeah. in the museum in Bologna, they have some really, really old pieces from churches usually, which I find really interesting. Yeah, I guess um, none of the artists are anonymous at that time. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. You don't have a lot anonymous. of records. Um, sorry, that's a fun answer. <laughs> Why don't you like okay. really? Yeah, perfect, because I like surrealism. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, for painting, maybe my favorite time mm -hmm. period is Impressionism, and I agree, I like Impressionism. Yeah, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too, maybe. I don't really like real realism as much. Um, I guess Impressionism is more about the emotion, perhaps. Right. Uh, also abstract I, paintings. I can't stand, like... Mm, quite Victorian sort of like there's a there's a Lowry do you know he's he's later actually but um I don't know what I'm thinking you know like really stiff portraits of the Lord and Lady of the Manor with their children and their their wonderful property <laughs> yeah not for me very boring yeah it's too realistic yeah um, okay, what about number three? When traveling, does your trip involve a stop at a museum? So usually when you travel, do you plan to visit museums or galleries? What about you, Hal? Have you? Definitely, definitely, 100%. Um, in fact, often I will, um, well, not, this isn't true. I don't think I've ever been on holiday with a, exhibition in my or because of an exhibition but in the UK I would often go to another city to see an exhibition so that was uh, your purpose yeah exactly um for example in Liverpool they now have a and I lived in Manchester and in Liverpool there's a the Tate has a gallery there so maybe once every few months would go across to Liverpool to see a show there yeah, yeah. how about you I think I'm the opposite. Um, if I go to a city, I will go to a museum, mm -hmm. but it's not like on the top of my list. Sure. Um, maybe the exception was in Rome, I went to see an exhibition of Banksy, Ooh. which was really interesting. Cool. Um, that was quite then, recent, no? It was quite recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been around Italy, I think. Okay. Um, but in general, I don't know if it's, it's not a must for me. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Did you, yeah, of course, I always plan not to visit a museum. Me too, me too. Was it sole? Okay. Yeah, the plural, good. <laughs> um, yeah, so also, Lucia, remember when we talk about something in general, again, um, with an S. Museums, museums or galleries. Yeah. Wow, I'm the odd one out. <laughs> That's a nice place to be sometimes. Um, number four. Right? Uh, yeah, not gone out. Nice. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, number four. Number four, have you been to all your local places of art? Hmm. hmm. There are so many in Bologna. Hmm. So, no. No, me neither. In Italy. Yeah. I've been to the. I don't know if the name is the local gallery, the communal gallery in Bologna, which was really amazing. Um, but um, it was also amazing out of the window, the views of the city. Ah, okay. okay. And I remember the assistants, the gallery attendants told us off. They were like, don't look out the window, look at the art. Really? <laughs> they have it all the time and they're like, no, 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 come look at the art. Yeah, that's what so we're here for. Everyone's looking out the window and taking pictures. <laughs> oh, that's really funny um sweet hmm. i like the museums abroad because a lot of times the exhibitions are more dynamic than here in italy we have to learn a lot hmm, interesting yeah, 
It's Although I have, I have to say that the um, um, the it's in Bologna, the museum of I think it's the archaeological museum. The curation there is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the curation is how the show is organized, how the show is displayed, right? Uh, the um, person is the curator. Yes. Yeah. Kind of but takes I have, care of it. Exactly, exactly takes care of it. But I have also, I know what you mean, Lucia. I have also been to museums in Italy and in the UK where the curation is very boring and mm. doesn't help. Um, yeah, I love the Mambo. Mm. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's a really interesting museum. <laughs> Okay, shall we move on? If you guys want to continue answering, that is fine. But let's move on. Have a look at some different types of art. Um, Hal, do you want to read for us? Sure thing. Places of art. There are many alternatives to the expansive, famous art museums. Here are some examples. Artisan shops, open air museums, arts and crafts fairs, galleries, auction houses, sculpture parks, and pop-up museums. Okay, guys, if you have any questions about the vocabulary, please let us know. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe there are one or two words here that you don't know. Please write it in the chat for us. Um, let's have a look. Lucia says, in Naples, we could emph emphasize. 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 Yeah, emphasize. <laughs> Sally says auction house, please. Um, Hal, how would you explain an auction house? <laughs> okay, so an auction is when I buy something by bidding, which means I'm buying something and I'm, mm, the price is going up and up and up and up and I am, mm. I'm trying to buy it before somebody else buys it, or it's a competition to buy it at the lowest price. Um, the auction house is where this off where this happens, the place. Yeah, perfect. Where I offer money for an item. Mm -hmm. um, Think of eBay, maybe. Yeah, eBay is an online auction house. Um, and they're very like dramatic places, no? There's usually someone going, how do they do it? They go like, like 10 at the back, 20 over there, yeah. 30 over there, 40 yeah, over there. 20, 30, 30, 30, 30. And you're bidding, sold. you're bidding a price. Yeah, sold and then they bang a big hammer. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah, perfect, sorry. Yeah. Have you ever been to an auction? Oh, sorry, pop-up. Oh. Yeah, pop-up museum is, I have, mm. Yeah, pop-up. Maybe if we talk about pop-up, pop-up is something temporary. Mm -hmm. um, so like when I'm on the internet and I enter a web page, sometimes something pops up, okay? And maybe it's an advert or maybe mm -hmm. it's something I don't want and I close it and it goes away. Um, or in, I don't know about in Italy, but in the UK, quite often at train stations, there will be pop-up shops where they just have you know like a table and they are selling something and they are only selling it there for maybe a few days and then they go away um mm -hmm. like they're giving you an offer or a deal on something they're promoting something so yeah, there'll be a pop-up shop um, i think yeah so usually yeah. it's temporary and it's not um it's very it's done in the moment mm. it's kind of informal um, okay. I have never been to a pop-up museum, so. Never, I've. Me too. It's a mystery it's to me. Something that may be interesting, like you say, in the train station, perhaps in the yeah. big train station. Yeah. I mean, sometimes there's like pop-up, um, like for example, sometimes in a in a hotel, they might be feet, or in a cafe, they will feature um, paintings from an artist, a local artist. Mm -hmm. No, they put them up. And they're not yeah. there permanently, and that is a kind of pop-up exhibition, right? Mm. In cafes, especially, I think um, yeah. my local cafe often has artwork mm. by someone um, that you can buy. 
Yeah, and it's interesting because they're really local usually. So yeah. they're usually yeah. not the big name. Well, I imagine they're never the big named people. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But you could be yeah. sitting next to them, exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, um, okay, I think everything else maybe they understand. Um, maybe we should ask them a question. Have you ever been to? And you can tell us about your experience in any of these um, places. Okay. Oh, what about you? Have you ever been to any of these places? <laughs> um, I've been to galleries and artisan shops. Um, sculpture Park, I'm just thinking, I don't think I ever have, even though in the UK there are some really, really beautiful ones that mm -hmm. I know about. Um, and I've never been to an auction, but I would really like to try, just to mm -hmm. go to one, it would be fun, I think. I agree, um, I've never been to an auction no. either. <laughs> Like I'd love to go to like a proper, you know, old style art auction. Mm. I think it would be amazing. Yeah, uh, even if you don't buy anything, it's still a good experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there an auction house in Bologna? There must be somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Sole can tell us. Or Lucia yeah. can tell us in Naples. Do you have yeah. any auction houses? Auction houses. Um, okay. I think for me, um, I've never been to an open air museum. Mm. Um, I guess you could argue Rome is an open air museum. Yeah. <laughs> but right, yeah. I've never been to an official open air museum. Sure. Um, which may be similar to the sculpture park. It's quite interesting because you could walk around. Um, maybe yeah. it's connected to nature too. Yeah, really relaxing. Mm. Mm. I've been to galleries all over the world and in Disneyland Sculpture Park. Park. Tell us, Classy. what was your experience? Classy. Yeah. Um, nice. um, what about artisan shops, Hal? Have you been to many? Well, there are quite a few in, in Italy in general, though, in Bologna. Often I will walk past somewhere and think, oh, what's that? And then realize it's a small, somebody is creating something themselves and then and then selling it from the shop. Yeah. Um, and in the UK, in Manchester, there was there was a, there's a certain district or um, area, quarter in, Man, in the center of Manchester called the Northern Quarter. Mm -hmm. And there's a kind of indoor market there, which has loads and loads of little artisan shops, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah. it's like the perfect yeah. place to get someone a present you forget yeah, <laughs> you, no, it's, you run there and you buy something special yeah it's nice yeah because it's very unique usually yeah yeah exactly um how do you want to read lucia's comment <laughs> yeah i really like open air museums where you can walk around paestum for example where there are a lot of ancient greek temples it is very suggestive mm. cool really nice. maybe not suggestive mm. i know what you mean lucia it I think you mean it sort of suggests, it gives you lots of ideas and feelings, but we would probably say evocative. Yeah, evocative. good word. Oh, it's very word. evocative. <laughs> I'm trying evocative. to think. With um, a C. Yeah. Yeah, evocative. yeah. Because to evoke is, an, is a verb that we don't really use anymore, but it means it, it pulls out feelings from me. It gives voice to my feelings inside me. So if a place is evocative, it kind of, yeah, it gives me emotions. It kind of makes me think of certain things. Yeah, yeah definitely. I think maybe um, suggestive is a little bit of a false friend mm -hmm. with um, English. Um, it doesn't have quite the same meaning. Yeah. Um, it is more connected to suggesting, so giving an idea, but not in a poetic way. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so this says, I want to go to Parco de Mostri. Okay. Where is this? Can you tell us? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it and why? <laughs> um, okay. In the meantime, let's move on. If you guys, again, want to continue commenting, please do. Um, here we have some statements. There's a big some statement, some of these. Controversial. Yeah. Um, the statement number one: modern art is not real art. 
you guys agree or disagree? Huh? What about you? How would you? What would you think? I would say it definitely is, mm -hmm. and that because I think you only need to go to a gallery um, with you know a, a fairly um, a fairly comprehensive, considerable collection of stuff of art to see that the definition of art has changed. Mm. Changes all the time, so um, so no, yeah, I would I would disagree. Although this is kind of almost like a famous controversial debate now, right? Like the, yeah. the, the thing, my my five year old could do that painting, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe the key is the idea behind it. Um, right, right, the right. The concept. Yeah. Mm. How about you? I would agree with you. I think it's definitely art. I think with both modern art and with older art, of course, you have good and bad examples. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't think that's exclusively a problem of modern art. Right. Absolutely. Perhaps the bad examples of older art don't exist anymore because they were bad. Exactly. <laughs> um, Couldn't so. agree more. So I went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and MoMA in New York. They are my faves. Livra and the Orsay. Wow. Sole is a passionate yeah, incredible. Um, museum. The Met, the Met is unbelievable. Have unbelievable. you been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I went there a few years ago and, and the MoMA, both of them. It was just unbelievable. I've never been, um, but definitely I should go. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> okay. Okay, they must be in Bomazzo, Nevitebo, more or less. Okay. Good. I'm going to look it up. I will yeah, look it up later. Yeah. Thank you, But Sole. you guys, um, Lucia and Sole, do you guys agree that modern art is not real art or disagree? Um, so we both disagree. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe a number two is kind of connected. An yeah, upside down so. toilet is not a work of art. What do you think, Hal? <laughs> um, I think, unfortunately, no, not unfortunately, as in unfortunately for whoever wrote number two. I think it can be. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think, uh, right, Sole, all art, all arts are art. All art is yeah. art. Yeah. Um, I think it depends a huge amount on, um, on what the artist is wants to do and also how you feel when you encounter it. So I can imagine mm -hmm. a situation in which encountering an upside down toilet would provoke feeling in me and then it would be art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucia agrees with us. Modern art is definitely art. Yes. Um, yeah, I think I would agree with you that it depends on the concept behind it, the idea, how it's executed, if it's um, shocking, if it's moving. Um, I think if I just got an upside down toilet and put it in my garden, I wouldn't describe it as a art. <laughs> <laughs> but if I had a purpose and a motivation for it, yeah. um, maybe <laughs> it could be. Uh, what about number three? Art isn't important. Or number four also, art is only for rich people. Mm. Uchi and Sole, what do you think? Mm. Well, mo the nice thing, the UK, one is that a lot of galleries are free. In fact, most, mm. all, almost all of them, the, yeah. the permanent exhibition, the temporary exhibition, usually not, but um, they're very yeah. accessible. Yeah, I think it's, I guess it's the right to, to have access to, to art. Exactly. I think maybe it's also a, an argument they make a lot in schools. Um, so, for example, recently in England, they've been removing some of the artistic subjects. Yeah. Uh, or they've been doing, making them less accessible, which yeah. um, maybe they see science or maths or literacy as more important. Yeah. In comparison. I think it's sad. Unsurprised. Mm. Yeah. By now, we know that we're all fans of art here, I think. So, Ole, art is for rich people made by Ooh. poor ones. For rich 
Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. okay. Interesting. Um, again, then, yeah, sorry, we don't need the, the, the art. Just, 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 just art, yeah. But then does a poor artist become rich? Mm. Do they not get paid? Oh, okay. Yeah, only rich people can buy it. Exactly. I disagree. Art is for everyone. Art is for everybody, but only rich people can buy it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank um, you, Vivian, Solly. Thank you for interacting. It's been lovely. Thank you, Hal. Thank you, Emily. And we hope you enjoy your Friday evening and you enjoy your evening. weekend. Yeah. Happy weekend, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>